Got it here, four more each made knives. I'm gonna include the other one that I have put to the test into this video, but yeah, let's unbox them, see what I got. Rich made knives are pretty cool, a very unique knives. So first of all, there's a certificate of authenticity, Stingray front flipper, okay? And this one was made in 2021. Titanium uh, blade, uh, this is the name of the steel, I guess. Wow, look at that, looks like a fish scale. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like a polish and finish. So there's a little nubby on the top. So this is how you would flip it. Boom. Very easy. And there you go. There's uh, his logo. Interesting. Kind of like a dirty look to it. Yeah. There's, uh, I guess, the blade. It actually goes this polishing. Um, circles onto the actual blade too. That's a funky looking knife, that's for sure. I don't know. Not super smooth. Maybe it will smooth out. Uh, kind of take it to flick it. I think there's a sweet spot to flick it. You just grab it right here and flick it forward. Have like some down and side movement and it flicks out really well. I know, kind of unique, but not my favorite. Looks kind of funky. Let's see what else we have. This one is huge. The model is a prototype large Stingray streamer build. Uh, 05 2021, so like only six, seven months year old. Titanium and copper. And this is Blade D2. Looks like it comes with a little challenge coin, whatever, knife coin. They make coins all the time. Look at that beast. This is what I like about the custom knives. They make something so ridiculous. There's a flipper, look at that stud. And it flicks it so smooth. D2, the copper will uh, turn even more. And it's just so smooth, it's just because it's so heavy. Look at that piece of steel. It's just so huge. This is absolute ugly tank right here. I mean, it's so smooth. It's hilarious. Would you carry a piece of a brick of a knife in your pocket? But yeah, it's comfortable for big hands, I guess. This is funky. I do like the blade. Do you see? It just wanna fall. That's huge. I love that funky little blade, so thick. Okay, let's keep on going, see what else we have. Another coin over here. There's a whole bunch of stuff like stickers or whatnot. What we're looking for is Slowpoke. That's funny name. This is 2019. Uh, Vegas Forge SS Damascus. So this is a blade, titanium. Okay, looks like there's other swag. Oh, that one is cute. Look at that, piece of art. Nice clip, okay, flipper. Oh yeah, flicks out really well. So this is like everyday carry pocket knife. I really like the, like, part on of this Damascus steel. You see that part on? Beautiful. And I kind of like it, this turning to this blade over here. I guess it's titanium. And not the super smooth knife, but it is really easy to flick out. Yeah, little pocket knife. Medfords are really popular. They just have a metal handles as well. So it depends what you like. And I have one more over here. These pouches are really nice. And this I just little logo sticked on. Okay, looks like it comes with a funky pen over here. Okay, another coin, and we got right here Stingray 04 2021. Uh, titanium and copper blade, can't pronounce it, but there you go, all this other information. Um, so the copper is this part right here, just to look cool. Look at that clip, it's a really tight clip, I can't even lift it. This is supposed to be a flipper. 
I guess you could flick it a little well. Kind of like it. Kind of purpley look to it over here. Beautiful logo. And really easy to close it. But it's definitely not the smoothest knife. Maybe in the future it will smooth out. But it flies out really well. Look at that. But yeah, another mini tank right here. Very well built. I like this. Each made knife. There you go. He does make some even more artistic knives, like zombie knife and things like that. But let me know in comments below what do you think about these knives. I think my most unique knife in this whole thing is this. It's almost hilarious. Look how thick that is. It's insane. It's almost as thick here as here. This is a little bit thicker than here. That's just insane. This is uh, from 2019 custom knife. This thing weighs over a pound. Look how big it is. Probably the biggest knife I ever owned. Yeah, beautiful copper looking handle. I think it is copper. Uh, so that's beautiful. And I like that treated metal right here. And it tells you everything about it. Uh, this is nice expensive pouches. There's a sticker. There's uh, rich man knives. Little sticker I guess too. And there's a certificate of authenticity. Fat Basta folding sword. I want to call it almost like a machete. Let's do a little folding action. Do you see how easy it is? There's his logo as well. So, okay, February 10, 2019. This one was made. Copper and titanium and blade. So this is copper, this is titanium. And blade is D2 tool steel. So very expensive high-end steel and so let's look at it close up the biggest folding knife i ever had i love it that it's made of copper it's probably gonna tarnish quite a bit you see how there is a tarnish a little bit from the uh, pouch whenever it was sitting in probably right here that's the problem with the copper and silver it's going to tarnish you see it that's where it tarnished most likely but yeah it's okay it's just gonna make that beautiful uh, Tonian look to it instead of tarnish look to it because it's gonna look good and as you can see this blade is like hammered I can't believe how smooth that is beautiful blade very sharp super thick I love that imperfections so yeah probably taking camping with you I would say but that thing is so heavy kind of like will uh, make your gear really really heavy so maybe just for fun wouldn't hike with it for a long time do you see that action um, this is a huge clip over here so I guess the belt clip open carry and this is the frame lock oh man that's hard sometimes it kind of gets stuck I don't know the applications for it because it's so heavy by just piece of art that's for sure this thing was $500 I think when they were first sold they were sold for around $700 